guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here in the original filming lot location, right in my own backyard, and we have a special truck that is supposed to be the one to revolutionize the auto industry. This is it. This is the all new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. But before we get into Ford's first ever fully electrified pickup truck, let's talk about what's going on here. The Ford Motor Company, obviously built by the man, Henry Ford, the car that really has been the most important vehicle for them in their history, of course, is the Model T. Many people are saying, many people are whispering, and many people are yelling from the rooftops that this Ford Lightning is meant to be that next step as in one of the most important vehicles in Ford's history. Being the first electrified pickup truck, especially with their top selling F-150 platform, really speaks volumes of where Ford is going into the future. Now, Ford is obviously the first to bring this electrified pickup truck of their own, but they're not the very first in the auto industry. Of course, Rivian doing one heck of a job bringing that truck to market. Of course, there's all the talk and all the hoopla and the smoke and mirrors of the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. But what I want to find out is, you got your other brands, American brands, Ram, of course, Chevrolet and GMC. What I want to find out is, is this the best future for electrification and the pickup truck? And is the Ford Lightning the one to buy the F-150 Lightning over the upcoming Chevrolet Silverado EV. Let's go ahead, let's dive into our Lariat Trim F-150 Lightning and find out. Right off the bat, dimensions, proportions, overall look, it looks like an F-150. And I think that's one of the most important things that Ford could have ever done with this truck to help people feel more comfortable as they transition. Now at the front end of the business, what is unique to the Lightning that you're not going to find on your standard F-150? Well, first of all, the way that they did the daytime running lamps, very unique with this white soft light of LED all the way across the front from one corner to the other, really gives it an overall style, especially as the sun goes down. You're not going to confuse this truck with anything else on the road. You'll notice on our Lariat trim, I love the way they did the headlight housing. Looks like an F-150. You got full LED projector beam headlights, LED turn signals, and then of course, like I said, that daytime running lamp. Now, as we come across the simulated grill, no need for a grill up top, but the way that they did it, it looks pretty good. I wish that they would have used a little bit different material because it kind of has an overall plastic look to it, but the way that they did this textured design, I think really helps it along. Of course, the iconic blue oval, the Ford logo, so much history in one name. You got your forward-facing camera, and then as we work all the way down, this is where you're gonna have functionality. Now, there are active shutters to open clo and close to bring cool air in, because remember, we do have a liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery we actually have the long range battery pack in this F-150 Lightning. You're gonna get the required tow hooks up front, nice anodized black finish. That's gonna help you pull the Chevrolet Silverado RST, the EV out of the mud, maybe even help uh, Elon Musk get unstuck from a cyber truck that he's in the mud with. But really nice look from the front. Like I said, it looks like an F-150. Now when we get up onto the hood, Everything else is straight out of the F-150 parts lineup. So you're gonna have a slight bulge. The higher peaks gives it a nice broad appearance, great visual reference points from behind the wheel. And then when we come around the bend and we talk about wheels, what do we got on our Lariat trim? So you're gonna have these dark gunmetal gray wheels. I like the way they blacked out the Ford badge on the center cap, really allows it to look super clean. 20 inch wheel, 275 on the width, and a super meaty 60 series sidewall. 
your course are gonna have regen braking and at first I wasn't a fan of the wheel, but when you see it in person, I really think it, I think it works well and it helps generate air because remember, even though we have a large vehicle, we still have to be concerned about how this vehicle goes through the air and that's gonna help with the overall range. Now, as we go down the side, you do have your charge port door. It's on the driver's side, like the way they did the Lariat badge and that same design feel from the front. You're gonna push, opens up, and then there's all your charging capability. Obviously, you could use the DC fast charger. We'll talk more about charging in a few minutes. You're gonna get a mixture of flat black and color matched on the mirrors, 360 degree cameras, and you got your LED turn signals built into the mirrors. These are the stationary running boards for your Lariat trim. What's nice is that they have LED lighting on the back end. You get color matched on the door handles and then some gloss black only along the bottom and in the center portion. Now, as we work our way towards the five and a half foot bed, I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and show you the LED lighting, as you can see, the LED lighting on the back of the running board really works out nicely at night. You can see the steel frame and everything in the belly of this beast. Like I said, five and a half foot bed, lightning badge, the return of this name. At first, I wasn't the biggest fan because I remember the SVT lightnings of the past, but they definitely get, did a great job on the logo and it makes sense. Lightning, electric, really makes sense. And then what makes even more sense is how they did the actual lighting at the back end of the business. Look at the way they worked the taillights. Nice shape, just like up front with the LED. Lighting's gonna go all the way across. These are actually your backup reverse lights. You got your F-150 badge. And then another nice badge that I love is the way that they took the blue from the lightning badge and they actually blended it in with a bolt next to the American flag. Nice touches on the bumper area. Of course, you're gonna have your full tow capability. I'm gonna have Lori drop all the way down to ground level because what I want her to show off is the rear suspension. Those silver massive control arms. You got your electric motor out back. Of course, we have an electric motor out front. The motor out back has uh, obviously skid plate protection. And then one of my favorite parts is watch this. I actually have the four key fob here. You get a power dropping and lifting tailgate. So I hit the button, it comes down very seamless. You're gonna get your full bed liner. We have the workstation here. You can measure how long you are and how long the wood is that you're trying to cut. You even got a little place for your phone. On this side, on the driver's side, is gonna be all your plug-in capability. And what they say is that you could actually charge your home, keep it powered for three days, on a fully charged battery. So you can use this as the generator. We got LED lighting, tie down locations. And then of course we have that step system that Ford is very proud of. Very easy to use. You just pull it out, drop it down. And now you got a full handle. You can get on into the back or just follow the steps. One, two, three. And then you're just gonna close it up and then watch this closes right back up. But you know what? This is one piece of technology back here that's electric with the dropping tailgate. Let's go up to the front and check out that front mounted trunk or like you like to call it, the frunk of this F-150 light. All right guys, time to get into that front mounted trunk. Of course, you could hit the button underneath this front lid area. I like to use the key fob. It just seems kind of cool. You just hit it twice, get a little bit of a chime and then it's gonna open up for you nice and smooth with the electric assist. What are you looking at? You're looking at a totally waterproof closed area that's actually, at the end of the day, 14 cubic feet of space. Let me show you some of the cool touches. First of all, you got this massive power panel here. Four home power sources, a USB-C and a USB-A. Of course, you got the button to escape if somebody locks you in the frunk. And you also have this button here, which lights up LED lights so that you could get into the front mounted trunk at night. Now, when it comes to the floor, you have a couple different options. Right now I have the floor where it's showing an actual ruler of measurement. You got some little areas to kind of hold things into place. It tells you you could put up to 400 pounds here. 
If you want the other side, you could just flip it around this way and now it all matches super seamless. You could also use this as a divider. Say you're putting things in the lower area, you could actually separate it and, and divide it or you could take it out and use this as a cooler with a drain plug in it, just like on the Mach-E. Here's a nice little Easter egg I wanna show you, is that it's not the cargo net, but if we pull the cargo net down, there is 1913 Henry Ford, really cool. And if you're wondering, well, what's behind here, Joe? Obviously, you're gonna have your battery and everything has been mounted inward. You fill up your windshield washer fluid here, back there is gonna be where you're gonna put your brake fluid. It's gonna be behind that panel and your uh, battery. So what do we got? We have two electric motors that produces 580 horsepower, 775 pound-feet of torque. Your regular standard battery pack is gonna be 230 miles, or ours has the extended battery pack, which is 320 miles. Zero to 60, 4.5 seconds, quarter mile, 13.1 seconds, top speed, 110 miles per hour, Towing, you have 10,000 pounds worth of towing capability, 2,000 pounds worth of payload capacity. And then if you're wondering, well, what about the battery? It's 131 kilowatt per hour battery pack. You could actually charge on a DC fast charger from 15% to 80% in 44 minutes. And a fully charged F-150 Lightning will power your house for three days, 78 MPGs, Ease in the city, 63 MPG ease on the highway, and this F-150 Lightning with the battery pack, the extended range battery pack, weighs 7,000 pounds. But while we go ahead, let's hear what the pedestrian warning sounds like and see how fast this F-150 Lightning takes off. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Ford Lightning, that Lariat trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at these Lightnings. I've also been looking at the upcoming Silverado EV. I'm not even thinking about the Hummer, the GMC Hummer that's out of my price range. But how much is this Lariat, especially with the way that it's optioned? So very good question. And I think this is where Ford has a home run and where they're going to change the truck EV segment of the auto industry. Starting price is $49,000. Nobody else is touching that. Now this being a Lariat trim and it's got the extended range battery, let me explain something. Any different trim that you add the extended range battery is an automatic $10,000 upgrade. And what you're basically doing is you're going from 230 miles to 320 mile range. This has the extended uh, range battery and it's a Lariat trim. So this one is $79,000. Still less expensive than the Silverado EV that's coming up in 2024. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. What you're gonna like is they are F-150 familiar door panels. You'll notice this wetsuit neoprene material, which is really soft. I love the copper stitching and then also that copper style uh, trim that's right in the upper corner there. No gloss black, super soft on the armrest. You do have the required Henry Ford Twinkie holder there. That was actually Henry Ford's favorite snack was a Twinkie. You get the B&O sound system. It's an eight speaker sound system. Of course, we got the alarms going off because guess what? There's a lot of Tesla owners that are seeing this truck right now and they're having a heart attack on how great it is. Now, in the lower portion of the door pocket, you got a large enough area for a Jersey Jim's Super Sub, 12-inch sub, plus you could also stop at McDonald's, get a Big Mac, and have two drinks. You'll notice how they kind of try to make the material a little upgraded near the front portion of the bottom of the door panel. Little touches like that on the Lariat trim go a long way. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, 
I'm liking the neoprene material, the copper stitching, very tasteful. Even the way they did the silver trim, here's some nice bronze copper. The only thing I wish they would have done was made everything bronze copper instead of having some silver trim here. Obviously, you open that up, you could put a baker's dozen worth of Twinkies there. That's 13 full length Twinkies. Close it up. We got connectivity, 12 volt home power source. There's the 12 volt. And then on the Lariat trim, you automatically get the 15 inch infotainment system. Obviously, we've shown this to you in the Maki -E and the other Ford products that have it. You got your Sync 4 system, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It does have an actual volume knob. Everything else is touchscreen. So to get in the AC, you actually have to touch the screen. We do have ventilated seats and heated seats and a heated steering wheel on the Lariat trim. You could easily pull up your power. Where's my energy going? You can make it a little larger if you want. You can make it a little bit smaller. Here's some other little features. We go up, we hit this guy up here with all of our different icons. We do have some games on board, including one of my favorite, Lane Change. That's a Radies Rides exclusive. You hit the Ford F-150, check it out. This is how you go into your different modes. And then we do have one pedal driving with the regen braking, and this is where you lock the differential. Another thing I love are the onboard scales. So you hit continue, it'll actually weigh what you're putting into the bed of the truck. Plus it's got the F-150 looking good there. How about cameras? Talk about looking good. There's our Lightning 360, easily changed. Look at all these different angles we got. Totally gives you the comfort, the usability. What's, that? What's in the bed? Look at that, somebody's laying back there. I don't even know who the hell that is. But we'll get back to uh, one of the other screens because I don't want to look at that anymore. Nice 360. And then to get back to home, voila, there we are. So really did a great job there. You do have along the bottom, I love the copper bronze finish. This does have Blue Cruise, which is the semi-autonomous driving. Make sure you're on the proper highways. It has to be in the system for it to work. You got your Pro Trailer Backup Assist, just like on your standard F-150. Release your trailer, more of that copper finish. Open door number one, what do we got? Wireless charging, USB-C, USB-A, and you could fit, I would say, three whatchamacallit bars in here. And if you don't know what that is, use the Google. We got banana holders on the side for people who need their potassium, two cup holders, Slim Jim holder, and look at how they got the leather with the copper stitching. This is going to be for that direct drive transmission. Watch this. Whoop. Folds down because we have that working station. You could have your, uh, you know, your laptop up here. You could use this as a cutting board. Maybe you're going to make some sushi. You could set that up and do the rolls right here for you. Fold it back. You got the copper stitching. Open this up. Whoa! Think about it. This could be your sushi tray. You could put all your different rolls there. And then we got enough room in there, I would say, for eight softballs. So if you're done playing with your balls or your balls are bothering somebody, put your balls in there. They'll be safe. That is promised to you by uh, Ford and everybody. So close that up. Seats. Nice, soft leather. I love the two-tone with the bronze stitching all the way around. Electric assist for the passenger. I got electric assist over here for the driver. And we have our panoramic sunroof in this Lariat trim. One button operation, super smooth. But why don't you get your butt over here? I got 12 inches of digital display I wanna show you coming over. All right, guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Lightning. You do have your three memory seat settings and you have your power seat controls that are easy to get to. This is what I was telling you about. I wish they would have made this that nice copper trim instead of the shiny chrome, but I got plenty of room, six feet tall. Steering wheel, they did a great job with the leather. They did a nice job with the copper stitching. I think this horn button has got to go. I want to rip this thing off too plain. And how about put the lightning badge or something here instead of just the blue oval? I do like the flat gray. I'm okay with that. Flat black on all the buttons. It is power tilting and telescoping, and you got the power pedals as well. There's the 12 inches of digital display. It lets you know your temps for the battery and all the cooling, your range, obviously your speed. And then when you go into the different modes, that's normal. There's sport, there's off-road. Look, the, look at the way it's got the dirt and everything, and then tow and haul. So really cool the way they have all the different ways to change that up. 
shows you how much power you're using, how much range, the regen braking. Why don't we go ahead though, let's get into the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna agree that this feels like an F-150, but with electrification. Let's go check it out. All right guys, back seat time and your passengers are gonna not even realize that they're in an electrified truck because they're gonna get the same amount of great space. That 131 kilowatt per hour lithium ion battery is nice and low in the chassis. What does that do? It gives you the great storage underneath the seats, especially for when you're going to the grocery store so that you don't have your melons. Nobody likes their melons all over the floor rolling around. Put those down. You do have these large pockets. So what's nice is you can put easily two calzones with pepperoni inside. You do have your little command center here with the super slurpy holders. You got heated seats, no ventilated seats in the back. I do have a 12 volt. We do have USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. I wish they would have put more AC vents in the frame. I don't know why they just want to cool our shins and our ankles. It would be nice to get a little bit more air back here. We got our oh crap handle. I'm six feet tall. Like I said, plenty of room. We got, mm, I'm gonna give it half a zonk. I would like it to be a little bit wider on the armrest, but you got two more cup holders, power sliding cab window. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's electrify ourselves with the on throttle in this F-150 Lightning. All right guys, as soon as this light turns green, we're going on throttle in the Lightning. On throttle, here we go. Woo! <laughs> wow, the front end kind of hopped a little bit as we went over the bump. But I'm telling you, the steering input is great. Everything changes depending on what mode you're in. And I'm using that one pedal operation. So right now I'm not hitting anything. It's showing the regen braking, and now I'm back on throttle. But you're really gonna be planted to the back of your seat in this F-150 Lightning, Lightning, even more so than the original SVT Lightning. But the great news is it drives just like your traditional F-150 pickup truck. I don't know, we're sitting here at this light and I've been wanting to do this. Uh, I wanna open up the frunk while we're sitting at this light, see if it opens. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into park. Gotta be in park to have the frunk open, but this is probably gonna freak everybody out. You hit the button, it raises up. Somebody can, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pedestrian that's driving by on their bicycle, that's riding by on their bicycle. And then of course, you hit the button again and it goes back down. Definitely an attention getter. If you're that type of person and wants the attention, you'll definitely be getting it by doing something like that of opening up the frunk while you're sitting at a light. I'm gonna do it again just for the hell of it. But you can see it's actually pretty quick reacting to open it very smooth, which is nice. And it's nice to have the buttons on the inside. You got the button under the front and you got the button on the key fob. So that's a really nice touch as well. I think that if you are not a person who has driven a full size truck, this F-150 Lightning is gonna be so much easier to operate than any truck that's full size that you could be getting behind the wheel of. Just the way that it's balanced and just super smooth, obviously. All that torque. Nice ventilated seats. I'm gonna turn on my ventilated, I got my ventilated seats on, so I'm feeling good there. And the one the one uh, pedal action is actually perfect for when you are driving in traffic or around tight areas in the city, uh, especially the way it helps with the regen braking and everything. I think you're really gonna enjoy having that one pedal action instead of having to bounce back and forth between the throttle and the brake. I also like the way there's no artificial sound. This is all you need, it's an EV, this is how they drive. Uh, I personally need a little bit of V8 rumble from an F-150, but uh, I get why these are gonna be so popular because of the price point and because of the way that it drives. I mean, it's just really smooth and very, very capable. On throttle, I mean, look at this. You go to pass people, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're gonna get out on, uh, onto the highway here 
and see how it drives down the road. Nice and smooth. And then once we're on the highway, great sound deadening material. You're not getting any road noise. Wind noise is very minimal. And then you got that wonderful panoramic sunroof too as well. And then to bring up your navigation, there we are with the SYNC 4 system. And you can make it larger if you want. Or smaller, one or the other. The one thing that's a little cumbersome are the AC controls. Nothing too crazy, you, you gotta get used to it, but what, it would be nice to have some manual buttons here. But I'll try, here we go. Wow, this thing has so much get up and go, you are gonna surprise yourself and definitely everybody else. And with the 10,000 pound towing capability, very, very capable for those truck type things. But here we are, driving down the road, look at this, on the brakes, nice and smooth, into the U-turn area. We're gonna wait a second here and then we're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go, that all wheel drive, look at that, just keeps you planted. You're able to get out into traffic like this and just surprise the hell out of everybody. But I'm telling you, people notice. They notice that there's something different about this F-150 on the outside. They see the lightning badge and they start asking tons of questions. But like I said, I, 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 it's just such an easy truck to drive. Obviously, you got your charging times that you got to think about and where you're going to charge. But for performance and for Ford's first ever pickup truck, I really think they knocked this one out of the park, to be honest with you. Especially this Lariat trim. I mean, we're just humming along here. So smooth. Even with the one pedal operation. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review for you. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up with the lightning. So I will see you in a split second. On throttle. All right guys, it's been an electrifying kind of day with this F-150 lightning. I definitely gotta thank everybody over at Ford for getting us access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Ford done enough? Is this one of the most important vehicles that they will ever build? Is it the future of the truck? And what are you gonna do? Are you going F-150 Lightning or are you gonna go Chevrolet Silverado EV? Maybe that RST trim? Let me know in the comment section. But until we meet again, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to the person that electrifies everybody's life. Lori throwing that love down with the camera, so show her some love in the comment section for her hard work. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.